Let's hear it for Monica Sellers! Welcome back to New Orleans Arena. We're about set for some action from two of the greatest. <laughs> when you talk about the modern era of tennis on the women's side, Martina Navratilova and, and Monica Seles, number one for two years, the 59 career titles, is unmatched by only a few, one of which we'll talk about in a moment. But the nine Grand Slam singles titles are impressive, Dave, especially when you think that one of them comes after the stabbing incident in Germany she was able to come back and still win another Grand Slam event. Yeah, Sean, that was wonderful that she was able to do that because uh, when she was at her peak, she was the most dominant player perhaps the game's ever seen. So Navratilova holds serve here now and goes up three games to one. Her service game there, Dave, it, it seems the velocity on her serves is growing as we go along. It's really remarkable. She retired last year at the U.S. Open, winning that last mix with Bob, and her tennis was outstanding. She really uh, you know, could have continued to play very high-quality doubles, at least, on the WTA Tour. It certainly wasn't that she, her skills had diminished. She can really bring it still. Well, her 20th mixed doubles title came at Wimbledon. Is that right? 20 then to meet. She retired at the U.S. Open last year. Right. Won it with Bob Bryan. Okay. And uh, it was a great day for tennis. A, just a tremendous send-off for her because she had uh, done so much in the game. For her to win her last event, a Grand Slam, uh, it, was, it was really a wonderful thing. And for the game. So after falling 3-1. Sellers comes back and blanks Navratilova here. Makes it a little closer here at the arena tonight in set number one. Uh, had a very nice start here. Both these legends will continue this exhibition tour, if you will. As we understand it, they will play a match against each other in an exhibition in Romania here coming up. I'd love that. She was on the defensive the whole time, but a little bit of an off-balance volley from Monica. As you can see, she didn't do a lot with that volley, and then Martina's backhand pass was, was awesome. That's a long way to go <laughs> to her left. Monica will take that second hand off when she's really stretched. Especially on the forehand, you can see that's a one-handed forehand. She curled cross court. She has pretty good uh, range over there when she takes that hand off. Fifteen thirty. Martina, not real sure the first serve was in. So I think she sort of stopped there. Although I think that return had such precision, I don't think she could have reached it anyway. That what, that's what makes her great right there. She was in a really difficult position. The ball was at the most awkward of spots, and she just dropped the racket head and came up with a winning drop volley. Just another day at the office. For her, yes. <laughs> <laughs> most people back at their clubs are like, how on earth did she do that? Backs it up again with another very accurate first serve, stretching Monica, forcing the error. For the game here. Deuce. Monica Sellis at her best. A lot of quick little steps to get herself into position for that difficult pass. You can look at her feet here. There's about five steps really quickly she took. And she had maximum balance to pull off that down the line pass. Again, 
down the line. Sellis has done it twice now here in this game and has advantage and a chance here to break surf. Not with that. <laughs> That's the way to save break point, isn't it? Both players have saved break points with that wide serve tonight. The lefty's bread and butter. When a lefty's playing a lefty, it's a little riskier serve because it goes to the forehand. So there is a decent chance that the return could be hit for a winner. But if you hit it as accurate as that, Sellis again gaining advantage. This is the second such for this particular game. She did this back in game one, one advantage twice, and then went on to win the game. This Great time, though, again, chance to there. break. She really hit a winner there off balance. That's Fifth ace for Amber Tolova. Andy Ruddick stats here. Well, no doubt. Deuce again. Again, advantage Sellis. A little bit unlucky there, Martina. She hit the volley very solidly, but the net denied her. <laughs> Wicked volley. That is that is something else. And Dave, I don't think most can appreciate. How close that ball is when you're that close to the net. Martina, what a great net player she is. Sensed that Monica was off balance and closed in, used her reflexes. And for the fourth time in this game, advantage sells. Let's let listen in here. No, it would have been a great volley, but she felt like she had that. If she gets strings on the on a lunge volley, she expects to make it. And Celos finally wears her down, breaks serve, and evens the set at three games apiece. These two are really bringing the house down, aren't they? What high-caliber tennis they're providing here. New Orleans is really getting a treat tonight. <laughs> 